okay, well, the film button here, or let's step back because I think my phone's having a hard time focusing here. This is the film button. If you were to attach a film holder onto this II here, right, right here, we can actually shoot a, um, a film right on the, um, the C arm here. Now, if you press it, now notice carefully, you could dial in your mask and your KV using these two here. Of course, there's no automatic. Pulse, let's go back to um, automatic, so we're back in fluoroscopy mode. If you hit the pulse button here, okay, pulse, what this will do, and you can, you can adjust this too, fluoro, eight pulses per second. Basically, instead of continuous fluoro, which is roughly about, well, it's equivalent to 30 frames a second, this will do it eight frames a second. What this does, um, it does create a slower motion, vid you know, um, fluoroscopy video, but the, the nice, you know, advantage to this is, of course, patient dose reduction. And when you actually run pulse on this particular C arm here, the flow time will reflect that. So if you hold it down for one second, it would take at least two, maybe three seconds before it even indicates one second. So it's calculating, it's factoring that, you know, eight, eight pulses per second, and it'll calculate into the flow time which is very handy. All right. Now, I think I've gone through most of the controls here. Um, this is your floral. This is your up and down, okay? This is your, your break for movement. This here allows either, you know, straight side to side, you know, straight movement of the wheels, or if you turn it, you can move it side to side, okay? And this is the connector to the um, to the workstation. All right, because this is an MTS model, um, it is built to have extra functions here. This one allows a um, you can tilt the. Oh, let me pull it out actually. So this one allows you to turn the machine here, whatever angle you need. Okay, and what I just used here is a push in, push out function. All right. Usually when you line up. On the cert, when you line this thing up to the surgery table, you can actually push in and out to adjust and you know to re to set properly center the image. This um, red button on the side here is an emergency shutoff. In the event that the machine's malfunctioning, um, which rarely ever occurs, you can press this button in, and it will give you a display here, X-ray disabled, and it'll begin the shutdown of the machine. You would have to reboot the machine if um, if you press this button and want to continue floroling. Here is another um, tilt function. This kind of gives you an oblique and a tilt at the exact same time. So you lift it up and you can tilt the machine. All right, and here's the standard um, AP lateral. So you could move, turn the C up and down as needed, okay? All right, and the other functions on this particular C arm, um, you can go to image directory here, okay? And you can see all the images that you shot and saved, okay, like particularly this one here. When you click it, it brings up that image back up over here. Let's exit here. And you have image annotation. So you can throw in markers, you can measure, you can even add in a comment. You can even crop the image and exit. Well, let's exit since we don't need to play with this. Okay, oh, whoops, huh, something I need to show you guys. Mode here allows you to change modes here on the um, particular C arm. So right now, okay, now let me show you. It's easier if I grab the remote for the C-arm, all right? What this does means, or what this means here, on the X-ray switch setup means that on this particular side where you have the regular floral and boost floral, the I+, plus, and same thing with the foot pedals, you have fluoroscopy. This means it locks it in floral mode. And the left and the right button will be high-level floral. Now, if you change it to digital spot, so press this instead of using instead of going to high level floral mode, it will shoot a digital spot. Let's press floral again, and let's make sure it's on high level floral. The modes will be indicated down here that your left button is in floral mode, and you can see it's in pulse, and the boost button is for high level floral, eight pulses per second. Okay. And if you want to use the bottom mode, okay, you can either choose, this is probably for intervention, floral mode, 
or you could do road mapping or digital subtraction. And of course, this week subtraction, this will be road map because you can see it's indicating for road map right now. Let's hit floral. Pulse, I turn it, I just turned it off. So now it's back in floral mode. Full continuous floral. Rate. You can change the rate of the um, the pulse, either one per second, which is very slow, two per second, four per second, eight per second. Under digital cine, which you do under digital subtraction, and of course this will result in higher heat for the two, you know, the higher tube heat basically. You can use 15 pulses per second, which automatically puts it back into um, floral and subtract mode. And let's go back to rate, or 30 frames a second. This will create a lot of frames. Um, and it'll basically use up a lot more memory than normal. But let's go back to eight pulses per second, okay? And if you need to change the profile, let's say I want to go back, and let's say I prefer the look of the 9800 OEC, you can hit that and hit OK. All right, and let's exit. Let me demonstrate to you what this does, okay? So if I press floral right now, okay? So you can see it's automatically adjusting. You know, it's automatic brightness control as well as you know automatic KV and MA it's currently 54 KV at 0.767 MA now if I had a high level floral this which is kind of pointless because the pen is so small I can press this and it will raise the MA significantly 1.4 that is almost double the standard MA um, for the C-arm, let's say if we maxed out our KV, which is 120 for doing a lateral L-spine in surgery, the maximum MA can, that can be reached is 5 MA. Under, um, although it may not indicate it on the screen, under high-level floral, this can, this can reach up to 12 MA, possibly 15 MA, which is significant amount of, well, increase in dose. I'm going to take my pen back here from the tube, okay? The rest of these buttons, well, additional applications, which, um, for instance, is Diacon, Diacon Retrieve, which we do not have enabled. You can actually pull images off of Diacom and display it on this right monitor here. Okay. Switch applications, same thing, which it, it just beeped at me because I don't have any other applications on. And setup, which is pretty, well, Pretty, pretty well laid out actually. Trying to play with the settings, especially for DICOM and um, network configuration, because if your C arm is attached to packs in your hospital, this can well ruin the settings, and it would, the C arm would not be able to connect. Let's exit. Okay. And I believe that's that's well officially that's it for the um, little tour of the OEC 9900 Elite. This, well, we installed our own film little printer there, and well, that's it. That's the 9900 Elite.